As she arrived on this ancient cathedral close, there was a guard of honour to greet the Queen. First, she presented medals to members of the Royal Mercian and Lancastrian Yeomanry, men who'd left civilian jobs for the front line in Afghanistan. Absolute brilliant honour, absolutely amazing. Never ever thought I would ever meet the Queen so this, at this level. Um, for her to give up, give up the time to do that to us is absolutely fantastic. It's a huge honour and uh, we're absolutely delighted that Her Majesty is able to come along and present soldiers their operational service medals for Afghanistan. Uh, Her Majesty is our Colonel-in-Chief and it's a, a huge privilege uh, that she's taking the time to come and, and see us. Then it was inside the cathedral. This was a service of thanksgiving after the regiment's five-month tour of duty. It's a tremendous event for the regiment. The sort of, you could feel a whole regiment lift when we heard Her Majesty was going to come and visit us. And for each individual of the regiment, it's been one of those moments in time that you will remember forever. There was the chance for the Queen to meet families, those who were relieved at the regiment's return. The ceremonies here at the cathedral have marked the homecoming of soldiers. But today has also been about recognising the sacrifices of servicemen and women who didn't make it home. Within the walls of the Armed Forces Memorial at Orowas, an annual commemoration. A service to pay tribute to the 112 members of British Armed Forces killed on duty last year. Their names inscribed into the Portland Stone. Amongst them, Staff Sergeant Brett Lindley. This weekend was the first anniversary of his death. You think you're the only one until you come to these events and you realise you aren't and there's a lot... A lot of other people that's in torment, the same as we are, you know. Mm. Uh, it is. Uh, there's never been quite so many in a year, have there? So um, you know that everybody else is suffering exactly yeah. the same as you. I just mm. wish that we could um, put an end to the, the lot so no, no other parents have yeah. to suffer. This was a day dedicated to honouring those who've risked their lives or given their lives in the line of duty.